Thursday, February 2nd, 2024. The Institute for Ray DeVito Studies posts a scathing review of Raymond's so-called stand-up comedy. Skank fans, where you at? There you go. Yeah, all right. <laughs> she grabbed his penis. Yeah. Uh, I'm a single guy, some single ladies out there. Not for you, you rent, renter. Uh. A dull and dreadful act that closes with a bit lamenting the script inaccuracy of MILF pornography because it does not feature sad nine-year-olds watching from a chair. You're just watching two people go at it and then the camera scrolls over and there's a sad nine-year-old? Friday, February 3rd. The Cleveland Slow issues a copyright takedown demand on YouTube. The Slow explains that his record label, Uncancelable Records, told him to issue the copyright strike. Franklin Shetler, which by the way, yeah, I did. Uh, he's got seven days to take it down. It's, it's my stand up. It's like on a fucking. I, I, I contacted the. Um, the label I'm with. It's on Aaron Berg's comedy label. Aaron Berg on Uncancelable Records, they're the ones that uh, I'm on their label. And it's on Aaron Berg's label, Uncancelable Records. Another reason why Gino doesn't like me, because I'm on Aaron Berg's label. Ray's latest comedy album was produced by a company called CD Baby, which makes sense because Ray is a proud member of Nambla. So when he CD Baby, he wants to have sex with it. <gasps> Ray. You shouldn't be having sex with babies. I'm on Uncancelable Records. I'm like, hey, someone's posting my stand-up clips without my permission on YouTube. And they're like, all right, is it any of the jokes you did on your album? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, some of them are jokes I did on the album. And they're like, okay, yeah, then please strike it. You can't, yeah, that stuff can't be out there. People cannot be, if you, they're like, you want to repost it? You can repost it. But people are not allowed to repost your stuff like yeah we own that like i essentially sold it to them so yeah so it's not even mine up for debate so they're like yeah they got i guess i don't even know how this stuff works but yeah you want to make fun of my podcast fucking take clips of me, uh, me fucking on podcast doing whatever fucking go ahead have fun with it but yeah when you're taking like some that's like taking someone's song like all right like I'm sorry, a label bought my, you might not like my comedy, but a label did buy my comedy. They bought me telling jokes and they gave me money for telling jokes and I'm under their label. So it's now part of their property too. So yeah, so you're fucking with them too. You're fucking with their money too. And I, I put a nice little, um, nice little coin in their pocket with my comedy over the time. So yeah, so that's, I can't really fuck around with that. That's like, that's their shit. So let's, uh, let's worry about that. Uncancelable Records is owned and operated by Aaron Berg. Who is this Aaron Berg? Why would he want to silence the free speech of American hero Franklin Sheckler? Aaron Berg is an actor and a comedian. In the 1999 movie Detroit Rock City, he played a gay bartender. Berg was also featured on Comedy Central's This Is Not Happening, where he recounted his experiences with being paid to masturbate with a black man for the entertainment of a gay customer. I don't know what to do, so I line up and I throw my cum at the guy. And Hot Chocolate notices and looks all surprised. Joining the self-proclaimed free speech network, Compound Media, in 2016, Berg co-hosted a show with a shouting drunk for six years. That's the most racist thing we've ever said on but this But I'll show. say this, 80% of the world... <laughs> and I'm counting off the air, yeah, too. But... 
the Institute was unable to locate any web presence for uncancelable records. Aaron Berg's record label. It appears to have launched sometime around early 2022. So again we ask the question, why would Aaron Berg want to silence the free speech of American hero Franklin Sheckler? Is it possible that Aaron Berg held a grudge over a Twitter thread from three years before? Damien Rogers had posted a clip of Anthony Cumia mocking Aaron's infatuation with the Hugh Grant movie, Notting Hill. Or, although, ooh, I don't want to speak too ill of Hugh Grant here on the show. Aaron Berg might throw a hissy fit. Ooh, sorry, Aaron. I know he's a big Hugh Grant fan. What does he when think? When did this happen? I, Aaron is Hugh Grant's biggest fan. Hugh Grant, good looking man. Notting Hill? Yeah. Did you see Notting Hill? So many times. Just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. I've watched it at least five times. You have to be lying. In a reply, Sheckler compared Aaron and his comedian wife Christine to the characters Salvatore and Kitty in the series Mad Men. Christine appeared to be unaware, much like the wife character in the series. In a notable scene, Salvatore demonstrates to his wife Kitty the choreography for a commercial he is working on. Runs forward as fast as she can. His wife begins to realize that her husband is a homosexual. Dancing right up to the camera. She sort of pushes her shoulders together, leans over with the can, and she smiles. Hello, patio. In a now deleted reply, Aaron may have fanned the flames of his wife's suspicions. Being of a comedic caliber that the Cleveland Slow could never hope to achieve, Sheckler was ready with the jokes. But what if there was no grudge, nor animosity at all? What if Aaron had been misled, or possibly not even involved? I'm gay. <laughs> Your back has got to be killing you from carrying this. You think Sheckler's got the biggest smile on his face right now? Go and I knew it. The Institute for Ray DeVito Studies knows the Cleveland slow to be petulant, spiteful, and dishonest to the core of his being, previously covered in other Institute presentations. Examples include the slow lying about being a victim in his 2018 I-80 accident. Oh, I almost died. I almost died in a car accident. I got in a car accident, almost fucking died. In a car accident, I was dying. When I almost died in the car, I got hit by a truck or a semi. I got hit by a semi. Though I did get side swiped by a semi on I-80. I got hit by a semi. It side swiped me. A semi, a semi truck side swiped me. When I got side swiped by a semi. Yeah, a semi and I hit and the semi didn't even stop. You didn't even notice. You got hit by a car, by a truck. We hit drove side by away. side apparently. A uh, semi and I hit each other. Uh, he kept going. So it's just me. My car's totaled. Oh, the semi kept going? Like yeah, it was yeah. a hit the and semi, run? The semi didn't even stop. No. We like hit side. Fabricating a story about being banned from Planet Fitness. You did, you fucking 200 pound fat cow. You lose can't be weight, held you accountable. You can't be held accountable. Go to Planet Fitness, lose some weight. Lose you some can't weight. be held accountable. Use me as a recommendation and lose some weight. You're a disgusting individual. You're, You're disgusting. hollow inside. You have what, nothing what, to stand on. Burning too many calories, unlike Felicia. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I went to. Um, Planet Fitness today, and I was I was I was fine, but I'm like, hey, what's going on with my app? And they're like, they're like, yeah, you're not uh, a member anymore. So, but yeah, I I don't have a membership at Planet Fitness right now. So, claiming his own words about stripping naked to accost underage teens in the Astoria Planet Fitness locker room were somehow taken out of context. You enjoy running around naked in the gym to scare off all the young teenagers that drink in the gym? Uh, is the latest rumor I heard that that's how you scare off all the, the teenagers that come in there that illegally come in there to drink, that you just parade naked back and forth for them at the gym. 
yeah, I'm gonna fucking be naked just to make them get the fuck out of there. Like, give me my space. It's more like a boxing out move. Uh, that's what's been done. Somebody told me on my podcast a couple of days ago. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I was gonna call you about that because I kind of got scared that you're running around naked around out public area, no, you know? I, no, I do shower at Planet Fitness. I'm not gonna lie. It's just literally like. Uh, groups of 15 year olds that go and hang out in the locker room. I'm more like, hey, I'm showering here. Uh, like in New York, it's like it's just a bunch of like uh, teenagers sitting there drinking beers in the locker room. Like because they're 15, they'll like hang out in the, in the Planet Fitness locker room, just like drinking beers. Like it's a bunch of like teenage dudes just hanging out drinking beer. Like underage dudes drinking beers. Fucking okay. Uh, we're drinking. You should go to the truck stop, right? Why they are they drinking the beers? Why are they drinking beers in the shower? It's like, I they don't have know, to Ray, why are what they? the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking be naked just to make them get the fuck out of there. Like, give me my space. It's more like a boxing out move. Claiming video evidence showing him inappropriately touching female comedians did not count. Because one of the women was allegedly a member of the LGBT community. The fact that a roast I did for Keith and the girl, what's it, like 2010? Um, and so 2010, 11, whatever the hell it was. And uh, yeah, I, um, my friend Patrice was on it. And yes, I gave her a kiss on the cheek. And then uh, uh, Lauren, ha who's a transgender, by the way. And so it's a dude, it's a dude who I kissed on the cheek. It, it was a dude, or, yeah, that's a transgender male that I kissed on the cheek. So, there you go. Uh, people trying to, like, Kevin trying to, like, oh, well, look at Ray. Like, look at that. Yeah, that, that, that's, that was a... So, yeah, so run with that. Run with that. Raymond even bragged about lying to his own mother. But like, I used to lie all the time when I was a kid. So when any time anything happened in the house, it was always my fault. Anything with me and my two sisters, it was always, uh, this is Ray's fault. Mm -hmm. And um, so because of that, like if I was like, all right, I'm gonna get blamed for something, I would just lie about everything. I never told my mom anything. And then when I did, I would just lie to her. And I, I, I just did that. And anything I said to my mom, she just assumed it was a lie. Like I, what, what was I trying to hide? People who have worked with the Cleveland Slow know him to be dishonest. Even Raymond's best friend and spiritual father figure, Kevin Brennan. I will say Kevin Brennan is probably my best friend. Like, I do consider Brennan probably my best friend. I used to think Kevin and I were best friends. And again, Ray lies all the time. And then he'll be like, no, what I meant was, what I meant was... Ray's a liar. Are you... I'm a giant liar, yeah. Yeah, well, Ray is a liar. Because Ray's a liar, Gustav. Ray admits that, that he always lies. He lied to his right. mom all the time. He lies right. nonstop. He lied right. about me. Dr. Chow is saying, even Teamster Tim in the chat is saying Ray is lying. Teamster Tim in chat now confirming Ray is lying. Ray is a liar. Ray is wrong. Well, Ray, is a, Ray is always wrong. Ray is a liar. Again, Ray's a fucking idiot, <laughs> retard liar. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, Ray lies so much. It's so hard to, like... So Ray does this, you know, combination, like, Levy. Plays the dumb guy, but and then when it's convenient, he lies. Why would he lie about it? Because Ray lies about everything. Ray talks all kinds of shit and then denies talking all kinds of shit. Like, I can't believe anything he says anymore. Ray always, when he lies, he always fills in the worst details. You, know, you don't think he got into a car accident? No, no, he made it up so he can collect insurance or, or run. He did a GoFundMe like a fucking hack. And and of course, nobody, Ray has no credibility. I'm going to sue Ray. I'm going to get a lawyer to shut down his lawyer because uh, he lied to me. I, I'm going to lie, uh, sue him for, for lying to me. That's basically equivalent. Uh, I'm going to sue this filmmaker, Sheckler, because I don't like what he's making. It's like, it's insanity.
Do you hear the new lie that Ray ne never was canceled from Planet Fitness? He just did. Yeah, that, I think that's that's been uh, that's been that's been second by very reliable people. Given the slow's penchant for lying, the Institute thoroughly examined all his claims about the YouTube strike. It gave me. Franklin Sheckler and Dr. Child, the Mega G's person. I don't want that. I'm not that guy. I don't want to. I don't want fucking people's personal information. Threatening to dox people is one of the slow's favorite moves. I don't want. But I did. Um, I, I did talk to some comedians, and that like, hey, well, how do you deal with like troll shit? And like, there's ways that you can go about with lawyers and stuff. And like, because I'm on a record label, like, there's there's record label. Because uh, I am a client of a record label, they have. I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want to fucking. That that's not my thing. All right. I don't want to fucking deal with that shit. I, I don't give a fuck. I saw just fucking fit. But yeah, I guess every change like fucking. Hey, yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah, hey, hey, oh, hey, look, look at this. Hey, hey, retweet, retweet. Yeah, he is. Go fuck yourself. You go fuck. Airy Jane is a woman that rejected the slow. Subsequently, Raymond stalked her using the fake name Nate J. Her retweeting something about the slow's bogus copyright strike sent him into a rage. I saw like yeah, people are telling me that you're retweeting and they're like, hey, I'm Team Franklin Shuckler. It's me and him. We're buddies. Hey, it's me and Franklin Shuckler. <laughs> me and Dr. Child and Mega G. <laughs> We're fucking buddies. Go fuck yourselves. I'm sick of this shit. I'm a fucking adult. I got to deal with this shit. My new best friend. Maybe he'll be husband number five. Maybe I'll get husband number five. Hi, husband number five. What's your name, Franklin Shackler? Will you be my husband? We can get married in divorce in six days. It'll be awesome. Yay. Let's get married on Monday and divorce on Saturday. Yay. Have you seen my daughter's OnlyFans? Hi. The slow is deranged and depraved. Uh, yeah. Ray, are you going? Ray, Ray, are you going to sue Sheckler? And did you get a new battery? Uh, no, I did not get a new battery, but uh, I did get jumper cables. Uh, that's a start. Okay. Uh, are you going to sue Sheckler? No, I'm not going to sue Sheckler. What did he do to you? And he took my uh, comedy content and like put it up on his channel. Oh. The whole Franklin Sheckler striking his channel stuff. We should talk about. So Franklin Sheckler. Franklin Sheckler, you struck one of his videos he posted uh some of your stand-up material and he put uh i thought he transformed it under uh the letter of the law he put in like uh, reactions of people not having a good time listening to your stand-up uh, and they put in uh, 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 sounds of, of of dishes and made it seem like all your jokes were bombing but you st why did you strike his channel and do won't this now put you as his number one target my stand-up like that's what I get paid to do, that's like my material. Like a lot of those jokes are on my uh, my album, which I get sound exchange money from. Like that's my act. So it's, it's different when it's like but you're you taking posted your... it to begin with, though. You made it public, and then he inter. I mean, you oh, could okay. Argue... So if I take down the video, then I could strike his channel. What What are you saying? No, I'm saying your 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 premise doesn't make sense to me. You're saying, well, it's my act, it's protected. I don't want people to see it, but in fact, you posted it, and then all he did was, in a way, critique it. It's it's sort of a review of it, and I'm not siding with Franklin Sheckler. I, I give me days. Just, it's not like it's not like his channel. And Ray, did struck. you even watch the video, or did you just see the video and say, oh, this is my video, and you struck it? Did you watch it to see if it was? I, I just saw it was my standup. I didn't even see. I, I just saw it was me performing my jokes, and I didn't even. I was like, all right, he's just. It's my act. He's just like playing my act. And I get that. So you took it like. When somebody walks into a comedy club, like Vince the lawyer did to shoot, yeah, and like guys. you're just filming my shit, and it's like I didn't but. say you can fucking film my, sh make fun of my pod, clip this shit up all you want, make videos of it, I don't give a fuck. But when it comes to my act, my comedy that I get paid to do, like, like that I, I got, I'm on a record label, jokes that are on record labels and shit, it's like, dude, that's not yours to fucking just steal. But he he transformed it, he critiqued it. It wasn't a traditional review, but if you watch the video, it's not just your stand-up. There's interspersed into your stand-up new audio, new video that I think one could argue was actually a critique well, or it's a review up to YouTube. of your stand-up. It's up to YouTube. See what YouTube says. True. Are you? How well is there a way out of this? Are you? Are you going to fight it? 
Is this your your hill you're gonna uh, die or stand on? Are you gonna fight it all the way? Um, he's got seven days to like make fun of my podcast. He makes he put on my entire podcast the other day. Yeah, but Ray, you don't make the rules of, of what people can what, make what? fun of and what they can. No, but you take my entire fucking act and fucking break it up. It's like, what, what are you doing? But again, you posted your entire act. All right. Well, then, I mean, it's up to YouTube. YouTube will say what they think. Uh, d- by the way, Franklin Sheckler, fucking make fun of my podcast all you want, but yeah, when you're taking my fucking stand-up comedy, yeah, but like, Ray, you can't make- the, You're going to have to fight this in court. I, I think it's transformative. As much as you think it's stealing, and maybe on some level it is. We gotta go to court then. I gotta get in, a suit. In 2024, I would argue that his video is a critique of your comedy. Yeah, I gotta get a, a suit. Review. I gotta go it's a bad court. review. But it's funny. It's actually funny though, Ray. I think if you if if anybody else had if Franklin it, Sheckler you would have, you would have looked reaches at it out to me as a man and like because he used to be like a Dude, fan. Your father said that earlier. You are turning into stuttering John. No, if he reaches out to me like a man, like be like a man and apologize, no, I'll remove the strike. Will you remove the strike against Franklin Sheckler? Hey, hey, if he talks to me, that's a possibility. If he talks to me like a fucking dude, Will you admit it's not. It's an improper strike. I didn't see the video. Okay. So you, he, all right. So that's a false strike. You just admitted to filing a I'm gonna false fucking copyright strike with YouTube, which is in fact a violation of YouTube's terms of service, which could get your channel in trouble. You just said it. I'm gonna fucking strike you. How about that, dude? Will you admit it's not. It's an improper strike. I didn't see the video. 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 The truth is uncovered. Raymond never even watched the video. The slow had spitefully lashed out with a bogus channel strike. But why did Raymond try to pin it on Aaron Berg? From the river to the sea! All right, speaking of the Jew, like, all right, let's get to the real serious Jewish question. Do they call themselves Hamas? To make it sound like hummus, and we all like hummus. So it's like hummus. Like I stand with. I like hummus. The Jew tunnels. What's going on yeah. with the Jew tunnels? Uh, I think in general, diversity creates resilience, uh, both genetically and culturally. Exactly. That's why like Jewish people get in trouble because they want to like get with each other, and it like uh, what, what do they get like Lyme right. disease? From the, sea. From the I mean, river to the sea. From the river to the sea. I get Palestine's my favorite soccer team. You're Jewish. You don't give a shit about Christmas. <laughs> have, you, have you have you been in the tunnel yet? I thought Long yeah. Island was a land of the Jews. From the river to the sea. The slow's reasoning remains a mystery. But like, I used to lie all the time when I was a kid. Like if I was like, all right, I'm gonna get blamed for something. I would just lie about everything. I never told my mom anything. And then when I did, I would just lie to her. I, I, I just did that. Because they're 15, they'll like hang out. In the, in the Planet Fitness locker room, just like drinking beers, like it's a bunch of like teenage dudes just hanging out drinking beer, like underage dudes drinking beers. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking be naked just to make them get the fuck out of there. Like, give me my space. It's more like a boxing out move. It's on Aaron Berg's comedy label. Aaron Berg on Uncancelable Records. They're the ones that uh, I'm on their label. And they're like, okay, yeah, then please strike it. From the river to the sea! The Jew tunnels. What's going on with the Jew tunnels? From the river to the sea! As a great parliamentarian Edinburgh says, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And that, in essence, is why I'm here today.